and welcome to another Tech World edition of a, uh, you know, Tech World debate, I guess you can call it, whatever you want to call it. Today's topic is, you know, set aside Mac versus PC, Windows versus OS X. We have Vista versus, you know, its prior brother XP, and that's Windows versus Windows, Microsoft on Microsoft. You know, Vista has been on release for about a year now, and, uh, you know, it's, some say it was a huge flop, it was a huge disaster. Some say, you know, it's it, it was a step forward. And we're going to get opinions today from uh, our co-host, We493, Direct Effect Live, and Tech Stuff. And you might have seen them from the other video. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to start off with the first question and pass it on, and then we'll go around the table. But first off, I just want to address some things that Vista addressed when it was released. And, you know, that was DirectX 10 with gaming, better graphics, that it was more secure. And, yeah, actually, Vista does have more secure features in Defend Windows Defender, Firewall, etc., UAC despite it can be annoying and some better upgrades to like stuff like Windows Movie Maker but so some many in some aspects Windows Vista does have better features but you know others it's you know still lacking stuff but as a newly you know universal OS to me it still seems like X, it's, it still seems like XP to me but just with new features and a new look it still seems beta-ish but anyways XP on the other hand when it was released with SP2 and it now does have SP3 it came with a ton of features uh, totally new interface a lot of add-ons compatibility you know less issues etc so first question I'm gonna address is what OS do I prefer or do they prefer and why I have to comes down to XP for me just because Vista you know I haven't had I've had a lot of driver issues even uh, you know with updating to SP1 and some stuff some software still doesn't work right and I don't you know I, I don't think I should have to run it in compatibility mode it should just work right out of the box and you know uh, SP1 didn't really do much so yeah but with that I'm gonna turn it over to direct effect for what OS does he prefer and why well the operating system that I would prefer is definitely Windows X XP because I have uh, two Windows XP computers and I've tried them and I've reinstalled them and they work perfectly fine. I never got a blue screen of death and I had them for about six years now. And um, I had my Windows Vista computer for about a couple of months now and I've already got tons of blue screens of death. I mean it just depends on like uh, you know, with the blue screen death, uh, what do you put on your computer to cause a blue screen death? But that's getting to a whole nother topic. But what uh, operating system I would prefer will be definitely Windows XP. And I like how it's fast, it's easy, doesn't have too many effects and all that on there that really makes, you know, the operating system slow down. And, um, I mean, as long as it works and it's pretty good and it's pretty safe, then it's good. So that's what I like best. Okay, and uh, Wii 493, if you're ready, go ahead. I would agree with uh, direct effect. I prefer XP. I run Vista. I have XP is just a lot easier. I've had some driver issues and just issues that I have never had with XP with that I've had with Vista. And uh, XP, you can easily run it on like 256 megabytes of RAM, whereas Vista, you have to have at least a gig just to run basic applications. Yeah, very true. Okay, uh, so with that, I'll turn it over to Tech Stuff. Go ahead. Yeah, um, well, for me, I think it'll have to depend. Um, you know, because I really, really like the graphics and such on Windows Vista, but then since, you know, I'm, I'm not, like, you know, just as most average user computer, you know, um, but, um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of problems with blue screens of death and, you know, all that bugs and everything that came with Vista, you know, the security, that is a good feature that Microsoft, you know, included it, but, but, you know, they just, I don't know what happened, but I, I, I would, I would say that I prefer a Windows XP, just because it runs better, and, you know, it's just great. Yeah, security, you know, they built it on security, but they forgot, you know, lackluster features, but with that, uh, my next yeah. question leads me to... What do you think that Microsoft can do to improve Vista? And on my part, I think they really gotta address the driver issues. They gotta address, you know, software and compatibilities. Really, it's compatibility with the drivers and software they have to address, and maybe some new, you know, some really really new feature that makes Vista Vista, if that makes sense. But with that, I'll turn it <laughs> over to Direct Effect on what he thinks uh, Microsoft can do to improve it. 
Well, I've seen Service Pack 1. I've used it for a little bit, and it's pretty good. I've heard a lot of great reviews that Service Pack 1 has really changed and made Vista a lot better. And I think as you know, months go by, Vista will become a really good operating system. I mean, when XP came out, people were, you know, looking at XP like they're looking at Vista right now. But XP is, like uh, we were just talking about, it's a really good operating system. And I think after a little bit of time, it'll become, you know, a little better. I think they need to work on also their drivers like you said because um, I have a lot of software that is incompatible it doesn't work that well with Vista and um, yeah it works a lot better with XP and I might just put XP on my laptop but they really need to fix the drivers and you know and um, yeah that's pretty much it okay go ahead we just like DirectFX said hardware software support it, it's horrible on Vista and I think really they just I think for Windows 7 they shouldn't build off of Vista they should probably go back to XP and build off of XP and just not have to fix the problems with Vista and build another OS or, and you know go off XP and just start over yeah agreed okay tech stuff go ahead yeah well um, you know basically the same thing um, you know, basically, you know, drivers, because, you know, I, I bought a $40, um, you know, headset, and it sounds crystal clear on my Windows XP, but I'm having problems on Windows Vista. And another thing, I think, um, they should, um, improve, um, the, well, not really the appearance, but, like, on Windows Explorer, where you go to start, and, you know, the start search because in some files if you include like um you know unique um what's it called if you include like a percent or something you know it won't search it right and I have found it you know my friend has you know pointed it out to me and you know recently and yeah, I think they should fix that and you know yeah, I basically agree with you know we and and Blake and direct effect okay cool so uh yeah Okay, everybody's free, free to shout out on this question, just so you know. Uh, least and most favorite feature of Vista, and f before you guys go ahead, I'm going to say my least fe favorite feature on Vista. Uh, I guess it has to be UAC. I know it's protective. I mean, they could have done it in a more non-annoying way, if you know what I mean, but yeah, so that's my least uh, favorite feature, but my favorite has to be the upgrade that they did to Windows Movie Maker. It's, you know, more enhanced, easier to use. So, yeah. So, you guys go ahead and feel free just to shout it out quick, because uh, we're running out of time here, almost. My uh, least favorite feature, or least feature I don't like on Vista is Windows Defender. I really think that it doesn't do anything at all, because, like I said before, I get several blue screens of death, but I do scans on Windows Defender, and it says my computer is running perfectly fine. Now, not unless Windows intended for you to get blue screens of death, which I highly doubt it's just something wrong with Defender you know that's the reason why you should use different other you know spyware protector and uh, virus protection like uh, Norton Internet Security so that's what I want to say I'd say my least favorite is uh, UAC like Adrian said it, I know it, it was intended for a good reason but it's just a little overprotective but my uh, favorite feature is uh, start search or spotlight as you might want to call it uh, I think that's pretty handy yep and go ahead take stuff yeah I'd say um I just like like um you know on my software like pre-installed it's not really like a least favorite feature but like um I would like you know to have um you know different kind of windows um instead of having Windows Live email to have like Thunderbird or something um... what's it called? yeah is it called? but you know and my favorite one is um... Windows 3D which I know that a whole bunch of people like you know, it, it lets you um... you know go through your windows you know and just oh, like yeah. in the windows logo so and 3D. tab yeah. Yeah, yeah that's my favorite too. That is, yeah, that's awesome. I like that. Yeah, that's that's really really cool. That's like you know, okay. yeah. Mister Take Off. Yeah. So I see here a lot of us agree on that XP is you know a more better operating system. They would dress Windows 7, but we're running out of time here. But you know, like we pointed out, if they're gonna go to Windows 7, 
it's not, you know, Microsoft got to really decide, are they going to build off XP or are they going to build off Vista? And, you know, they can take and migrate some of Vista's security features because that was the highlight of it, you know, security and, and migrate that over and, you know, build upon XP or just like Apple did when they went to OS 10, just restart it all, you know, you just go from the ground and up and, you know, instead of, you know, just building from the top and up, if you know what I mean. But anyways, guys, uh, if you want to join our arguments, you know, etc., you can email me at kidgearcenter at gmail.com or, you know, message me wherever on and add me to Skype. You can search up Kid Guru. Anyways, guys, thanks for you guys, everybody joining. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it ran a little long. Anyways, comment, rate, subscribe, and check out the video description for more. Thanks for watching.